In the future, if you crack your cell phone, it will be able to repair itself, which is good because I do this to every one of my cell phones. Anthony here for DNews, and right now some crazy work is being done with self-healing materials. Things that we can use to make all the stuff we come in contact with every day self-repairing. Just this week, some researchers in England got a grant to work on a plan they have for self-healing concrete. See, over 7% of the world's carbon dioxide is created by concrete production, which is something that I never would have expected. But by making the concrete self-healing, you limit the need to repair concrete structures. Less cost, less concrete being made. It also means strong stronger, safer buildings, because most of the damage to concrete structures actually comes from water and oxygen getting into cracks and corroding the steel supports that are inside it. So the idea is this, the team develops a new concrete mix that contains these little micro capsules full of bacteria. When the concrete cracks and moisture gets in, it mixes with the micro capsules and it lets out the bacteria. And then the bacteria mixes with the water and it turns into limestone, which fills in the cracks. It also uses up all that water and oxygen that would have damaged the steel. Even better is the creation of self-healing plastics. See, we use plastic and silicon for everything electronic, but silicon is brittle, plastic is breakable. We need a more flexible, resilient material to make all of our crazy, bendy, future wearable machines out of. Last year, Stanford researchers created a conductive plastic that can be damaged over and over and over and keep repairing itself without losing any of its strength or conductivity. You can cut it in half completely, and after you press the ends together for 15 seconds, it's one piece again. That means we're inching closer to flexible screen electronics, unbreakable touch screens for our phones, even synthetic human skin that can register pain through its conductive properties and then heal itself after injuries. The main thing that's keeping this stuff out of our hands right now is the usual manufacturing costs. You know, making a material that includes layers of healing agents and composite plastics requires really precise machinery and complex processes. It works, now we need a way to make it work reliably on a budget. If you could replace any object in your life with a self-healing one, what would it be? I already showed you mine. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.